hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to be talking about a very very important topic now a lot of times some people forget to take certain measurements you know while they want to sew for somebody and then getting across to the person becomes very difficult so in today's tutorial i want to show us easy ways how you can determine some measurement without measuring the person so for instance how to determine your half length in case you forgot to measure the person then a very very important measurement again is called the bust span that is your nipple to nipple measurement this measurement is very important for corset for bust yards for body generally so it's a very important measurement that you must know or measure accurately so i'll show us how to get this without measuring the person another measurement that people get very wrong even when they measure is the across back measurements okay so for this measurement it's actually advisable you measure it okay but in case you forgot to measure i'll show you an accurate way you can determine this without measuring the person so let's get started now this is my pattern paper and i'll just quickly start with the rudiments which is um you know drawing the basic lines that you need in drafting a basic bodice pattern so just in case you don't know how to start the basic bodice i'll drop in the link to our website you can go there to download the full tutorial right so this is my pattern paper here already unfold and um I'll be drawing my shoulder line. That's the first thing I'm going to be drawing. So, by default, center front is always cut on fold. This is my pattern master. You should have this as a dressmaker, right? So, this is my shoulder line. So, after you determine the shoulder line, the next thing you want to determine is the um, chest line. For the chest line, I strongly advise you measure. So, how do you get it? You're going to measure the um, arm circumference and divide it by two so i'm working with 16 for my arm circumference so half of 16 is eight right or 16 divided by two whichever so i'll just rule this and this is going to be called my chest line so do not assume that everybody's chest line is eight or is nine or is seven measure the person's armhole okay so next thing is shoulder to the boss point boss point is the shoulder to the top of your nipple so i'll just work with 10.5 for this particular explanation okay so same thing for boss point is not constant you need to measure the person shoulder to the nipple and make sure the person is putting on a very good bra it's very very important right so this is my shoulder to nipple called the bust point then the next line now this line is very important for bustiers for corset your shoulder to the under boss i'm working with um 13 or let's say 13.5 for this particular tutorial so for this one you also need to measure okay and the person has to wear a good bra i am emphasizing a very good bra don't measure the person braless if you measure the person braless the shoulder to donor boss will be longer okay yeah so the first trick or the first tip i want to teach us this evening how to determine your half length in case you forgot to measure so on the average distance from under boss to the half length is usually plus three you get it? so if my under boss is 13.5 my half length will be 16.5 it's not constant on the average okay half length is your under boss measurement plus three okay so if you forgot but you remember to measure the under boss just add three to that measurement okay so that's my um half length method that's the first tip now coming to the across back i will write some uh, measurement out later for us but let me just explain so let me assume that this person's across back is seven okay well, that i measure the person okay the person's across back is seven inches i'll mark the same thing on my chest line okay this is seven and uh, now to determine okay for this measurement now my bust circumference is 36 okay that's nine okay nine inches that's quarter of 36 is nine now this is how it works in case you forgot to measure the across back measurement usually the difference between 
your across back measurement and your bust circumference is on the average is two inches this works for people with bust size of 32 34 36 so if your bust is 36 quarter of 36 is 9 so 9 minus 2 will give you 7 okay you get that yeah so if your bust is 34 quarter of 34 is 8.5 so 8.5 minus 2 is 6.5 do you understand so it means for someone whose boss is 34 most likely the person's across back will be 6.5 okay i will still come to other sizes later but i'm just explaining this for now okay and probably the person's boss is um 38 okay even for 38 inches too 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 so 9.5 minus 2 is what 7.5. So most likely, someone with bust 38 inches, their cross back measurement will be what 7.5. Okay, so um, let me construct my line first. Okay, so I want to link my shoulder to my chest line. Let me quickly show us how to draft a perfect armhole before I come back to, you know, uh, explain more on how you can derive a cross back measurement for probably plus sizes or something or more sizes so let me just do uh, a four by four inch for my neck width and neck depth today we're not talking about necklines so i'm just going to do four by four for my neckline and mind you we're working on the front bodies okay so i'll come down by one inch from my shoulder to create the shoulder slant now a lot of people always ask when you reduce the shoulder slant won't it affect the armhole no it will not it will not it prevents any form of gaping space right so i will measure from my shoulder line to my chest line and find the midpoint there then i would come in by three quarter of an inch if it's the back pattern you're going to be in half okay then if you're into kids wear you can do one quarter you can do half maximum for children okay but for adults for the front pattern is three quarter for the back pattern is half inch so I'm just creating my armhole there. So you need a French curve to do this, okay? Now the next tip I want to share with us is what we call um, the boss pan. The boss, the boss pan helps to determine the position of your darts. Yes, the boss pan, you cannot just place your darts randomly. People have different measurements, different sizes, so you have to determine the position of the boss dart. Now for your boss pan, that is your nipple to nipple measurement. The formula to get that is your boss circumference divided by 4 minus 1.5. Yeah, this works for any size. Trust me, I've been using it for the past 8-9 years. It works perfectly. So let me assume my boss is 38. 38 divided by 4 minus 1.5. This would be 9.5 minus 1.5. So my answer is 8. So for someone whose boss circumference is 38, the boss pan is 8. Right? Then let's go for a plus size. Let's say 48 inches. Your boss is 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12. Okay, so 12 minus 1.5 should give me 10.5. So for someone that the boss circumference is 48, your boss pan is 10.5. You can't use 8. Some people use 8, some people use 7 for anybody. Then when they finish sewing, they run into trouble. So for a, a smaller size, let's say boss 34. Okay, that will be 8.5. 34 by um, 4 is 8.5, okay, so 8.5 minus 1.5 will give me um, 7. So for somebody that the boss circumference is 34, the, the boss pan is 7. So you can see now that boss pan is not constant for everybody. It de depends on the boss circumference right so for this particular um tutorial we're working with the boss circumference of um i think 36 yeah let me go cross check nine yeah nine times four is 36 okay so uh 36 divided by four is nine nine minus 1.5 will give me 7.5 yeah so in case your boss pan is not the whole number you don't need to stress your head just fold the tape where the measurement stops like this just fold the tape and then you mark that's so because for some boss circumference the measurement the the boss pan might not be a whole number you need to just fold your tape now i've marked it on my um, boss point and my half length line 
okay so this is it here so this helps me to determine the position of my darts then i'll find the midpoint of my shoulder there so like i said if you want the full tutorial on the basic body just visit our website now for bustiers corset and all of that you know you need to sh um like draw the curve of your bust in such a way that you know you will not have pointed edges around the bust now for this one now this is another measurement that people always get wrong if your bust is 32 34 or 36 then going up by one inch from the bust point and coming down by one inch is perfect for your measurements for my bust point there that midpoint you no, know, I went up by up. I sorry, I went up by one inch and I came down by one inch. Okay, so let me just write up. If your boss is 34, 36, you can go up by one inch from this point up and down. Okay, if your boss is 38, 40, for 38, you can come up by one, one quarter and go down the same thing. For 40, you can do one and a half. Okay, so if your boss is probably um, um 38 you do one one quarter up one one quarter down okay everybody cannot do one inch up one inch down no if your boss is 42 um you can do one and a half okay or even 44 then from boss 48 50 you can increase it to two inches yes if you don't do this after sewing the corset or the bust here the the blouse will not sit well around the bust because that place will be too small okay it will not sit around the bust well so you need to keep increasing this figure as the bust circumference increases okay in fact for people that their bust is around probably 60 you can do up to three inches up three inches down yeah it's possible so um now i'll just mark one one quarter inch on both sides of the boss pan line okay and then one inch on both sides i want to just quickly construct the that even though that's not our main tutorial for today but at least let me just do this if you want the full tutorial on the busy body tutorial okay visit our website www.wellala.com it's available there for free you can even get the link sent to your email okay so yeah so i'm just shaping the um pointed edges like so so if you have any questions related to this tutorial just leave it in the comment section okay i'm just blending up with my french curve like so so this is my dart right yeah so so far so good okay now coming back to the shoulder measurement I was explaining, I know some people didn't get it. For the across back, I said you can subtract um, two inches from quarter of your bust circumference. So if your bust, you know, is um, probably 32, 34, 36, you should subtract two inches. Okay. So for instance, for someone that the bust circumference is 36, quarter of 36 is what? nine so my nine minus two is seven so most likely the person's across back measurement to be what seven okay for someone whose bus circumference is 32 that's eight minus two the person's across back is six you can't use seven for everybody you understand the bus circumference will determine okay now let me also do for 34 um that's 8.5 minus two that's 6.5 you get it but if you're turning towards Boss 38, boss 40, and above. Okay, you could actually work with um, 2 or 2.5. Okay, so you can do 2.5 if the person's you know, should, if the person does not really have broad shoulders. So, quarter of the boss is um, 32, 38 minus 4, that's 9.5 minus 2.5. This is um, 7. In some cases, like for me. My bust circumference is 38, but I work with a cross back of 7. But you find that some, some people that their bust circumference is from 38 and above, they have broad shoulders, okay? So sometimes you might need to work with, you might, you might still need to work with 2. You get it? So if quarter of your bust, uh, your bust is 38, sorry, if your bust is 38, quarter of 38 is what? 
9.5 minus 2. So you see arrive at an across back of what? 7.5. You get it. So basically, the difference between the across back and the what circumference, most cases is what 2. In some cases, it's 2.5. So in case you forgot to measure the person's across back, all right? So for both 32, 34, the across back is usually around 6, 6.5. Was 36 38 across back is usually around 7 7.5 then for boss 40 boss 42 the across back is usually around 7.5 8 yes some people have broad shoulders actually so yeah i hope with these few tips i've been able to share with us i hope you've learned one or two things okay so do not forget to like subscribe and share so um this is the end of today's tutorial okay thank you so much for your time bye